Aston Villa, first ever winners of this trophy some 33 years ago then, and finalists five times, really looking for something of a miracle here today to make another final. Higgins for Tranmere Rovers, tries to release Malkin. A little layoff was meant for Aldridge and found him. Malkin again. Aldridge continues his run, and it's a good ball to find Aldridge. Chance here, and it breaks to Nevin. A great save by Bosnich. How did he manage that? He was lying on his back on the ground, and in that instant, Tranmere could almost have made sure of a place at Wembley. It's good football by Tranmere Rovers. It's a hallmark of the way they play. They don't just loop it forward. Uh, excellent, attractive side. Higgins clearance. Barrett. Now Teal with a long ball for Daly to chase. Daly gets it back. And a good ball to Townsend. Excellent ball into Sunday. terrific goal what a tremendous ball in from Townsend and the run that has become his really his trademark Dean Saunders to the near post and to be honest with you you couldn't say anyone was at fault for this goal it's just a very very well constructed goal well there have been so many shocks in cup competitions this season particularly the FA Cup the first division teams knocking out premiership opposition are we to see another one today? These teams both seventh in their respective divisions. Or will Premiership quality rise to the surface? Fowler by McGreal has given Villa a free kick. Richardson will try and cause the problem again for Nixon with a good ball in. Another terrific goal, Alan. What quality crosses. That's what led to the two goals. Very, very difficult to defend this ball. But nevertheless, a very, very brave finish from Teal, who just threw himself in there. Watch the quality of this ball. Keeper can't come. Defenders can't defend it. And a terrific, brave diving header. Daly did a bit of a tall villain D. But no one near him. Well, that's a great ball forward to Aldridge. Chance here. It's got to be a penalty, and it is brought down by Bosnich, Alan Gunn had no hesitation and has pointed to the spot, Tranmere Rovers have a penalty and the drama continues because Mr Gunn might decide here that Bosnich has to go for that. Now this is where inconsistent refereeing always uh, gives you a doubt in these situations, I've seen goalkeepers sent off he, and he, this looks he, ominous. He's got to book him. And he's got to go through the motions for everybody that he's going to do it. But I don't think he's going to send him off. I hope he doesn't. I really do. Jim Walker, the Villa physio, lending an ear to the conversation. Of course, the Tranmere fans up and down the country, and there's plenty of them here too today, they'll be saying, hold on, he's got to go. If that had been our goalkeeper, he'd have sent him off. And it appears Mr Gunn has decided to take no further action against the goalkeeper. He's got away with that. What he hasn't got away with, of course, yet, is the penalty. Booze from the Tranmere fans who will feel that Bosnich should have been sent off then. But they will forget that if John Aldridge converts this penalty. And he has! Well, justice is done there, Alan, because it, it would have been frightening if, if Bosnich had saved it, because then people would have added to the... Caught napping there by Atkinson. Wins it back, but uh, before that, they conceded the free kick. Villa tried to take it quickly, but the referee wasn't happy that the ball was stationary. Now they have taken it. Daly. And it goes towards Atkinson! It's a great ball in again, and this has been a feature of the game today. 
from Villa, but what a great finish. There's still a bit to do. And Atkinson, who's not really been that involved in this second half, has started the dream off again for Aston Villa. There'll be a bit of controversy about the free kick that came to that because he ordered it to be retaken and players weren't in position, and I'm sure they'll argue about that, but you can't argue with that finish. Is the game going to take another twist? It's been a fascinating game and it's still going. O'Brien! Oh, it hit the inside of the post and came out. I do not believe it. That looked as though it had to go in. O'Brien denied his first ever Tramia goal and a goal that would have sent his new club to Wembley by a coat of paint. It's the final whistle 